uh, and trying to start promote that. Okay. Yes, basically, uh, this iStudio class is a, a, a big story about e-learning industry. So we, yeah. I, I'm too small to, to say such a story, but uh, now getting bigger and bigger. So yesterday I talked with uh, the Korean education ministry people, and he was so surprised that we have a machine like this. And mm. he tried to use a Camtasia, all the other things, and <laughs> they, they surprised that this is a completely different level. And yes. then he's so excited to have this one for their institute. Yeah. But again, so the, yeah. the council that I'm talking to, um, where the chairman is, uh, is quite close to me. In fact, uh, he's been supporting me a lot for the past few years in e-learning. Mm. So in fact, he was just appointed as the chairman for the council. And he's working very closely with the Ministry of the Education now. Yes. So if we can uh, get him to be impressed with this uh, committee, uh, the uh, the e the e-learning council for the public universities, I'm very sure he will bring it to the Ministry of Education in Malaysia. Yes, because uh, all the people actually working in smart education era. I mean, in the USA, in the in the Europe, in Korea, every people now thinking something should happen with a smart world. Smart world means, as I mentioned, is uh, everywhere any person can get any content. But there is a big bottleneck that every teacher has no tools to really make a presentation video. So once we have a video from every people, it already we have a full infrastructure for streaming video on demand, LMS, everything is there. So mm. that part we have to solve using iStudio. As long as we have a new solution. We, we, are, we are trying to develop something very simple one like a Camtasia, but pricing may be very cheap like a $1,000 or $2,000 version. And that will change every people. But eventually they think the content has to be very high quality. So I don't think a $15,000 or $20,000 is so expensive. Once they put this machine, every people go and record in real time. So it's kind of a professional content machine gun. And also they have a everyday distance learning. So one school, now I'm, I'm talking to uh, Korea Japan Association to make uh, one reference teaching between, I mean collaborative teaching between Korea and Japan. So we can oh. broadcast all over the Japan, all over the Korea. So one teacher covering whole class all over the country, which looks like a very big event. But actually for us it's nothing, just a studio with a Ustream that can finish. I still with KoreanAfrica.com, we already made a full live HD broadcasting all over the country. And they just connect this one in the project screen. Every student can watch this lecture. And then after a 30 minute uh, lecture, individual school teacher helping students to, to understand. So they do the bi-directional. In, in, in local school, they have a, a question and answer from there. That's what all the scenario we are trying to, to make.